Hello, pre-calculus students. Now that I've gone over difference with polynomial functions, I'm ready to go over exponential functions. Again, I'm trying to show you differences. Okay, so we did this one before where we had a linear function and its first change was a constant. Now, let's come over here. Let's try doing a first change. Equals bottom minus the one right above it. Enter. Equals bottom minus the one right above it. Okay, I don't know if you notice, but we are kind of not going anywhere. We're almost repeating what we've got. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it sure has some similar ideas going on. I'll just drag this over. That doesn't need to be there. And, uh, okay, move. All right, not looking so good. In fact, this is not a polynomial function. Come over here. What it is, is three times uh, a number, we call it a base, raised to a power. And so rather than x being raised to square or cube, you know, two or three, it's now a number being raised to x. That's what makes it an exponential function. The variable's up in the exponent. And so we don't test with uh, how it's changing because that will get us absolutely nowhere. All right, come on, clear, delete. What we do is we take a ratio. equals this one divided by. So rather than subtract, I'm going to divide to see what kind of ratio I get. I get 0.6. Well, let's keep going. I now have a constant ratio. And you remember what the uh, formula was? Up here, it's 0, 0.0. Okay, it was 3 times that base, 0 0.06, raised to the variable. And that ratio is the base. And right where it's 0, this number right here is the number out front. Just, we call it just the constant. So in this case, it's 3 times. So, ah! Okay, forgot I was in. So the formula itself will look like y equals 3 times 0, 0 0.6 raised to the x power. So this is what makes it exponential. Now if I had, um, well, this one over here with this linear was equal to a 0 0.2x, and that was pretty much raised to the first power because it was linear. Plus, and then is this 0 right here? Let me see. Yes, this is the 0 right here. So even though they both have 3, Right here at zero, they are not the same equation. And I just happened to get lucky, I guessed. All right, so what do you think? Shall we try a ratio? Equals one on the bottom divided by the one on the top. 
Okay, pull it down. Oh, okay. It's not coming constant, and it sure doesn't like that division by zero, does it? So let's try change of y. Okay, so equals the bottom one subtract the top one. Um, it looks kind of repeating, doesn't it? So it's probably another polynomial. So I'll just take this and drag it over. Okay, I will not do that. <laughs> Equals bottom minus, no. The one next to it, bottom minus top, enter. Let's see, there we go. Um, okay, that's really repeating. So let's try one more change of y. Go ahead and drag that over. We don't need that one. Okay, so it looked like it took three three changes, but we came up with a constant in the end. And if I look at the formula, sure enough, it was raised to that third power. It's x raised to the third power. Okay. So this last one here, uh, pause. Let's try the ratio. Equals the next one divided by the first one and click and drag ha! what do you know it is an exponential function so it's going to be um, in fact let me come here and then I'm going to go up to the function bar four times 0 0.01 so it was a constant times a base raised to the x power so it looks like and see here's the 4 right there at 0 so y uh, y equals <laughs> 4 times and then that ratio is the base 1.01 .01, oops Raise to the x power. Okay, so the difference between these two polynomial functions and then these two exponential functions starts to really become clear if you're looking at changes and then you start looking at ratio. So I'll get more into section 6.1, but I wanted to show you this.